Welcome to the workshop. Uh, I'm setting up a full set at the moment and I thought it was a good opportunity to let you hear them and just to let you know what I want to get out of every full set. Um, I'll just let you hear them bit by bit and talk about a few things along the way. First of all, I'll start by letting you hear the chanter. First thing I think I want to get from every set and what I would want myself uh, as an Ellen Piper is a comfortable pressure, a pressure that's uh, enjoyable to handle but at the same time lets you lean in that bit when you want and I would say that that's the way this chanter is at the moment. It's, uh, it's got a good full sound uh, and at the same time very sweet and harmonic. Uh, which is what I would be looking for. The uh, tuning of the chanter, of course, is uh, very important. We all, no matter what kind of pipes we play, everybody's looking for an instrument that's got the best sound you can get and the best tuning. Uh, so I, I, I do want to get as accurate tuning as I possibly can. Um, I'll just go on to the meter here and show you a few notes. Uh, particularly between the octaves and things like that and show you what it is that uh, I'm, I, I would like to get. Here we go. So we'll start, when we start off with uh, a low A here. Here we go. Spot on concert pitch. Now, and then we go up to the high A. And that's dead on too. That's important for me particularly when you're you know you're playing tunes that feature these things against the drones and the regulators that you want to hear them dead in and of course with the with the chanter with the illin pipe chanter there's certain notes you're going to lean into more than others and that kind of thing that goes with the territory but uh, trying to get as the tuning as accurately as possible is really important uh, low b And then the high B. And then uh, high G. And then down to low G. There we go. These are these things are all that that's what I would love to get. So that everything's fitting in with the drones. Uh, your back D of course is is uh, And of course your hardy. I love it uh, when the hardy's not jumping sharp and it's staying in there and you can hear it in with the drones and of course with the regs. So uh, that's just to give you an idea, you know, of um, how accurate it would like to be the tuning. Of course the E's um, are important too. Uh, the high E. Always trying to I think most pipers will always lean into the high E slightly more and ease off of the low E. I think that's pretty normal. And the high E. And then your low E. Yeah. So uh, overall, I would say that's uh, like a musical sounding reed that's well tuned. Very nice to blow, very nice action under your hands on it. I think that's very important too. Okay, the drones, of course, we all want drones that are hassle free and steady. And uh, I'll just give you a, li a wee quick listen to them.
That's very steady and uh, very air efficient too, which is really important. Uh, the reeds I'm using in this set are called Easy Drone Reeds, which are excellent for, for, for these features. For remaining really steady and at the same time being very air efficient. You'd hardly notice them coming on, but yet you can go in between the octaves and you'll hear, you know, th there won't be any waver. I'll just do that. I'll just actually play up to the high notes where they've got the most pressure and uh, with the drones on. <laughs> completely steady across the octaves and uh, of course the, you can hear the hard D there which I mentioned earlier in with the drones <laughs> uh, it's something I like to hear that I love to hear the hard D just being dead in with the drones and one other thing I'll just mention it's just something I really like a uh, sound that I like to get is the, that kind of chordal, very harmonic sound that you get with a low F sharp against the drones. That's a, that's, that's a great feature of the El Enchanter. the chanter and then you get the you're hearing the chanter with the drones and then of course the regs and the thing about the regulators I think the first thing I think that for me as a, a as a piper with regulators is you're looking for an action that gives you the easiest time possible uh, and there's a few things of course that come into that the, the shape of the bag I think is very important for that and uh, we've put a lot of time into choosing the right shape so that the drones just sit there and your hand does have access to all of them without any major uh, uh, contortions and uh, of course and where the the stocks are tied in too uh, where everything sits you know really helps that so it's important to make sure that every set has a good action like that uh, also the action on the springs is very the tension on the springs uh, requires as much attention as anything so that you get a very nice easy enjoyable action again going down and a nice wee kick when you lift your hand off that's very important and of course the reeds themselves the responsiveness of the reeds is uh, very important to that and, for, and, and helps ease of playing and of course the quality of the sound. Um, I'll just let you hear, just, just, I'll just plink away at some of them and give you an idea uh, of the sound of them. Here we go.
that set's going well and uh, I hope that gives you an idea just of some of the features that I try to get out of every full set.